day and welcome to WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Thomas. Today is August 6th, National Fresh Breath Day. Miss Springer is working on finding a date for the Europe trip next year. If you have any questions about that, you can stop by her classroom, B105, to pick up the material. All students that would like to be part of the concert band and are not in the band class, please come to the band room Thursday, August 13th, after school for a short meeting. You will be given a calendar and some music to start working on. Please see Mr. Cox or Mrs. Grossman with any questions. And now we'll toss it to Sabrina with our local weather. Hey MJ, I'm Sabrina here with your weather. Today, as you can tell by looking outside, it is raining. These thunderstorms will last most of the day, but will clear up by tomorrow. Then it shall be partly cloudy with high humidity tomorrow and this weekend. There's a 50% chance of more thunderstorms appearing Monday evening. Temperature-wise, it will be cooler today with a high of 82, but will get warmer as the week progresses. The lows for the week will not change much and will stay at around 70. Middle Tennessee is not the only area with thunderstorms. As the week comes to an end, strong to severe thunderstorms are expected to affect parts of the plains, the Midwest, and the South. Thousands have already lost power in Memphis after one of these storms came through and knocked down dozens of trees. Thank you for listening. I'm Sabrina Ullman, and that was your weather update. Thanks, Sabrina. Anyone interested in trying out for this year's step team needs to meet in Mrs. Tucker's room, C-105, next Tuesday after school for a brief informational meeting. Monday, August 10th, only people who have a parking pass will be able to park on campus. If you haven't yet gotten your parking pass, you can pick them up outside the cafeteria during lunch. Applications for that parking pass can be turned into the office after August 10th. Sophomores can apply for a parking pass only after fall break. And now, here's Malia and Jayla with our sports. Hey Mount Juliet, I'm Malia, and I'm Jayla here with your sports news. Remember there will be volleyball trials for anyone new to Mount Juliet High School today after school until 5. You must have a physical to try out. In your national news, NFL has already seen a number of injuries that could affect the coming season. Here are some players that were injured shortly before or since the opening week of training camp. Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Martavius Bryant will likely miss next weekend's preseason opener after ongoing a surgical procedure Sunday to treat an elbow infection. Bryant isn't expected to miss a significant amount of time and should be ready for the restart of the regular season. Denver Broncos wide receiver Kyle Williams hasn't had the best of injury luck during his NFL career. He suffered a torn ACL in 2012 with the San Francisco 49ers and another in 2013 with the Chiefs. At the beginning of Broncos camp, he suffered yet another injury. This time it was a ruptured tendon. It is certainly disappointing to see the former Arizona State standout miss out on another opportunity because of an injury. For more NFL in injuries at the start of training camp, visit BleacherReport.com. I'm Malia. And I'm Jayla. And that was your sports news. Back to you guys. Thanks, Malia and Jayla. If you park in the South parking lot... That's the co-op parking lot, the one closest to the gate. Yes, if you park there and you are not assigned to park there, you will lose your parking privileges. And that wouldn't be good. Now Jonas will tell us what's trending now. What's up, MJ? I'm Jonas Leach, and this is what's trending now. So while you may be waiting for next summer to happen so you guys can start sleeping in, these guys are training for next summer, as the Summer Olympics are coming up in one year in Rio de Janeiro. Athletes from all around the world get the chance to compete for that sweet gold medal that they've been dreaming of. You can follow this trend by looking up hashtag Road to Rio. Meanwhile, if you're a Blackhawks fan, you might want to look away from this one, as the police are currently investigating superstar Patrick Kane, arguably one of the best players on the team. There are no following details to report as of now, but you can always get up to date with this trend by searching Patrick Kane. On the comedic side, a new trend is popping up where you can ruin a perfectly fine horror movie and mess it up to your own pleasure. For example, instead of Escape from Alcatraz, you could say Escape from Alka-Seltzer. Yeah, I know it's not that good, but you can still join in on this trend by putting in Ruin a Thriller. And that's about it for the top trends of the day. For more just like them, just go to your social media app online. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jonas. Auditions for this year's Love and Mood Choirs will be Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, next week after school. Interested students should sign up in the choir room door, A174, by this Friday. And all current MOVE members will have an informational meeting in the choir room Friday afternoon. Junior ROTC completed its first National Flight Academy. 20 students graduated from a one-week advanced STEM course in career aviation in Pensacola, Florida over the summer. The course training included state-of-the-art flight simulation, STEM introductions to radar communications, and carrier-borne aircraft operations. Real-world scenarios included search and rescue, maritime patrol, and evacuation of U.S. citizens abroad. And now back to Sabrina to tell us the difference between a watch and a warning. 
Thanks, Elizabeth. Since severe weather is on its way, it's crucial to understand the difference between a watch and a warning. Basically, a watch means that conditions are favorable for whatever kind of watch it is. For example, a tornado watch means a tornado may develop in your area. If there is a watch for any kind of severe weather, be cautious and check for updates on your phone every now and then. If there is a warning for your area, take cover immediately because the severe weather has been spotted and is heading towards you. I always remember it as, watch out, I'm warning you, because a watch comes before a warning. Back to you guys. Wow, I never knew the difference, did you? Nope, learn something new every day. Thanks, Sabrina. If you are interested in helping with after-school math tutoring, please talk to your math teacher or see Ms. Lawless in room C-145. You can receive community service hours for your time. Thank you for watching WBNN Channel 9 News. Until next time, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Thomas. Here at WBNN, we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a great, great day, MJ. MJ.